All right, let's mount us up some rear brakes, shall we? All right, we're gonna put on, first we're gonna put on the caliper, and then we're gonna put on the master cylinder and the brake lever. So we got the brake lever. We have our finely rebuilt master cylinder, which you can watch a video on. And we have our caliper, freshly rebuilt as well, which I have videos on that as well. And I found a nice uh, a use for your junk mail is to uh, keep the brake pads separated, so we'll be able to just put them nicely right on over the uh, rotor right there. So, without further ado, let's do this. So the way this thing works is obviously we'll take out the junk mail and slide that right over the rotor. And we already have the brake line hooked up. So we'll just slide the brake line right on through here because that's where it's going to go. And we will pop out our junk mail and rotor instead. Perfect. And then there's two bolts to the, we bolt to the brake stay. Before we put the bolts in, we want to make sure that we uh, blue Loctite these. So let's uh, go ahead and coat this. Uh... And then we will torque these down after we uh, get them both in. And they're going to get torqued to 22 foot pounds. Let's hit the other bolt. All right, let's torque these bad dogs. 22 foot pounds. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. Now that we have the caliper on, let's uh, hook up our master cylinder. Actually, we're just going to install the master cylinder. We are going to fill these up and bleed them uh, at a later date. Basically, we're going to do the front and the rears together. And right now, we're just assembling all the pieces and we're getting everything in place because I am still in my living room. So we're going to do all of the messy stuff. Well, relatively messy stuff. We're still going to use grease and stuff in here. But we're going to do all the messy stuff outside. Uh, anyway, let's see. What we need to do here, you can see right here, for some reason, there's supposed to be a welded on threaded uh, nut blocks on the back of here. And you're supposed to be able to just take this uh, master cylinder and put a couple bolts in there. For some reason, this frame... Uh, I had no idea it was supposed to be like that. For some reason, this frame just has holes in it. And I don't know why. But, we have improvised. So basically, when you're installing yours, you will just take bolts. They're little Allen bolts, and they just go right into here. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to take these fine black, uh, cool-looking black heavy-duty screws that I got with some, with some nuts on the back. Uh, these are basically just Phillips bolts at this point and they, I think they look pretty pretty stealth also so we'll get that in there the only way I can at this point since those things are missing alright so let's uh, take our first one send it on through And then we'll take our second one. And we'll just put that right on in there. Get the nut started. And then we can uh, tack down our reservoir up here. 
Got the bolt already in place. And what you want to do with these, you want to do a little bit of blue Loctite on there. See, this one has what I'm talking about. This one has a, like a nut welded on the back of here, right? It's threaded through, so you just take a bolt and you throw it in there. That's the way the master cylinder is supposed to be also. But not mine. And I think this thing calls for like a, I don't know, 10 foot pounds or eight or something like that, but I don't really measure anything when it's, unless it's above uh, 10. So I say right about here, boom, 10 foot pounds, done. All right, now that we got the reservoir on there, let me drop the camera, because we're not gonna be working up there any longer. So let's get these guys, uh... oh man. I forgot the important thing again. These guys need Loctite also, so I'm gonna back this nut back off. Put my glasses on. And we're just gonna put some uh, blue Loctite in there before we zip them down. get in there I guess this way huh okay okay now we're just gonna buzz these down to like 10 foot-pounds I guess <clears throat> 10 perfect Ten, perfect. <laughs> All right, and then let's uh, hook up our brake line. So as you can see, we got two crush washers on here. One's gonna go on each side. So we'll just leave that one sit there. The way this brake line works is it feeds through here. And sits about right on here, like so. Should have had this guy ready. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. We're just gonna snug it down right now. We may need to do some adjustments, so we're not gonna really tighten that down right now either. But we got that guy on there. Now, let's assemble the bottom down here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna install our aftermarket uh, spring that goes along with our OEM spring, and it'll give us a little more tension. Uh, on the brake pedal and it'll make it a little more stiff and, and easy to work with. So, let's do that. Let's put these two springs on here. So, we're going to use a little bit of a, uh, we're going to use a little bit of the Maxima waterproof grease right here. And let's just grease up the uh, inside of this spring along with the bottom down here so it doesn't uh, Get stuck and then this is gonna this is gonna go on first basically what's gonna happen is is it's gonna go right up onto here and it's gonna thread right on to the shaft and it goes right up in there
Next is going to be our lock nut. This is the OEM lock nut. Next we're going to install the clevis. We have an aftermarket clevis also. We'll just give it a little bit of a play. We'll put it about like right here, so. Next, we're gonna take a little bit of grease. We're gonna put this uh, protector over the top of the spring here. This is the OEM spring. And we're gonna fill the inside of this with a little bit of grease. Actually, let's, uh, instead of filling it, let's just wrap this spring in a coat of grease. Now we can put the sleeve on there. Try to keep as much of that grease as we can inside. Some of it's going to push out, which is okay. Okay, and then this spring is going to hook this direction. So the spring comes through this way, and this one points up that way. Next, we're going to install the seals for the brake pedal, which I guess Honda calls the pivot arm for some reason. Okay. So the way these work, let's see if there's any... Uh, oh, yeah, there is... So there is an, there's an inside which has a valley around in here. And then the outside has, I guess it does have a little bit of writing on it. This goes outside and this will go inside. So basically what we're going to do, we'll do the outside first and then I'll just do the inside one. Take a little bit of grease and fill up the valley in there. Okay, get the outside greasy also. And then it just goes right to right here. It goes right there. It's going to go right there, but for some reason, I think it's because of the powder coating on the frame, maybe made the hole a little thicker. I'm going to need some persuasion. All right, so we're going to take this 14 millimeter socket and All right, so I got the, the seal on the back. The seal on the front, for some reason, will not fit. Uh, I cannot get it to go in there without damaging it or doing something bad to it. Uh, or like throwing it out in the road and having a semi run over it or something. So what I'm going to do is improvise. So what I've done is I put the seal on the shaft itself. And we're going to grease this up and we're going to send it through like so and it will have no choice but to pull itself into the hole when we tighten it up so it'll work just fine and if not well then i'll have to come up with some other plan but that's what we're going to do right now i'm going to just assume that it's going to work because it is so let's grease this guy up 
Okay. And then I'll hold this seal back over here and we'll send it through the hole. We have our pivot. This is a little, little brake lever pivot bolt. It'll go, uh, it's already Loctited from the factory. So it goes through here, like so. And it will attach to this guy, flat like this, on the back side. And this is for the uh, brake lights. So when you hit the brakes, boop, it'll pull a spring. And we'll do that when we do the wiring. We're not gonna hook that up right now, but we need this hooked up. So this has the threads in it. So let's get to, uh, we'll attach this. That's how we improvise with things. So let's hook our clevis up to the, to the pivot arm, they call it. And we are going to apply a little bit of grease to this guy. Get this guy facing the right direction. Get that out there. And we can line up the holes. Now, that guy will get a washer on the back and a cotter pin. But we're not gonna we're not gonna flip the cotter pin yet. We'll just put it in place and drop the cotter pin. Through the hole for now. We may need to take it back apart and adjust it later and do something. We're not quite ready yet, but that's the way that's gonna work. There you are. See with that extra tension, that extra tension back here, now we have a really stiff pedal. Now we need to keep our, uh, our brake line away from the shock because we don't want that thing going in there and tearing up everything. So, uh, I got a couple of things that I've engineered. Well, I didn't engineer them, of course. I uh, used from other things, since we're using this aftermarket uh, brake line, uh, we no longer have any need for the OEM hardware that hooks up those bigger fat lines in here. So what I've done is I adapted this from a, I think it's from a CR125 or something. Anyway, it's for the, it's for the Honda dirt bikes where the, for the down, for the forks where it holds a brake line. But anyway, I've adapted this to sit right here and hold the brake line. And then this one, I've adapted from a set that came from a 69 Nova. <laughs> so it just is gonna go in here and sit down here. And stop everything from going into the shock. So let's get to town. All right, we might need to get you out of the way. That's all right, that's what we got this little hammer for. Out of the way. Still works fine. All right, so what we need to do is we need to take this guy out. All right, so we don't want these coming out later. So we're going to uh, blue Loctite them. And then we want to clip it on, try to get it close to the hole.
All right. So we don't want to tighten that down quite yet. Get our other clamp hooked up here. Want a blue Loctite this guy. Now that we have this guy blue Loctite and zipped down uh, across the here, across the K, across the uh, brake line, we can insert the bolt into here, and then we're gonna flip the bolt into there. First, we're going to, of course, you guessed it, we're going to blue Loctite this. There we go. Totally wasn't designed for this uh, application, but I think it looks awesome and functions properly also. Now we can tighten this guy down. Make sure we got uh, the right amount of play there. That's probably where we would like to have it, right about there. There we go. One brake line out of the way. 